Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you a little bit about the appearance panel, which is really where you can do some really magical stuff with some of your shapes. What I have on here is a single path just kind of curled around. If you click on it, it's just got one little path curve. Now, the appearance panel is where you can adjust things. Like in my case, I can change the color of my stroke. Let's do... Hmm, how about we'll take it from red to this orange, okay? So if I don't have anything selected, the appearance panel changed, but the item I had on the stage didn't change. So I'm going to click on this and then rechange that, and there's my um, nice colored line again. Now, this particular shape, I'm going to do some crazy stuff with it. The appearance panel is over here on the right, and I'm going to drag it out so that I can see more stuff underneath it. And I want you to know that you can change things on the appearance panel whenever you want. You don't have to have anything selected to do it. However, you're not going to really see what you're doing unless you have something on. So I'm going to make sure this is clicked, and it's got its blue rectangle around it. And then I'm going to go over here and check out some of these things. Under the um, section here, it says I have a stroke, but I don't have a fill. That's right. And... Uh, if I twirl down, I can change the opacity of that. I can make it go lower. I could also change the blend mode here. Now, I'm not going to see what that can do here because in this case, I don't, you know, I only have one thing, so it's not going to really change at all. So I'm just going to leave it on normal for now. You can um, also change the overall opacity for the entire thing, not just parts. So I want you to understand you can do the whole entire opacity and the opacity for just a single element, like the fill or the stroke. But here's another cool thing. You can actually add strokes. If I click down here in the bottom corner, I can add a stroke to this. Now I have two strokes. What are you saying? Well, I have two strokes. Um, this second stroke, I'm going to make it this yellowy color. And I think um, I'm also going to do some craziness with it. For example, you can actually apply filters to things in here, like strokes and fills. So I'm going to click on this, make sure it's highlighted. I'm going to find the effects down here. And I'm actually going to find something called distort and transform in the word transform. Now, when that comes up, I'm going to get this transform effect panel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure preview's on. And I'm going to tell it I want eight copies. And I'm going to move this horizontally up to about 30 and watch what it's doing see it's making copies then I'm going to have it rotate and I think I want it to rotate 41 so you can see what that's doing if I go the other way let's see I'm going to have it 41 but then I'm going to go the other way you can see how that changes I'm going to keep this on zero. I'm going to put this up. So you see how we get different designs. All right. So um, I'm also going to change maybe the orientation of this. Right now, it's rotating these at kind of about the middle of this object. Well, what happens if I change my registration point down into the bottom left hand corner? Mm, neat. Put that back at zero. And maybe put this up. Just gonna kind of drag this up until they start to meet. And look, I end up with this really cool shape. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK because I like that. Now, if I look underneath this top stroke item, I actually see that little transform. And I can go back and adjust it later. These are live. I can turn them on and off. And I want to do one for this one as well, but this time on this guy, I think I'm going to do it, but uh, I'm going to add the effect, and we'll go ahead and do the store and transform the same way. Let's see, those numbers were 30, uh, 41, Ocho, and bottom corner. Let's see what that does. Oh, wait, I don't see anything. Let's turn off the eye on that top one. Okay, yeah, that's looking good. Let's go ahead and change my stroke, though. Instead of doing it 16-point, um, maybe I'll make it. Um, let's see. Let's make it bigger. So you can see how that's working, right? Um, 
I could leave it at 16, right? But once again, on these strokes here that we're doing, when you click in the middle, and um, let's see, uh, opacity, I mean, you can uh, adjust the way these things work. In this case, I can make this one, this red, be a little less opaque. And I know I can't quite see it because it's underneath. Make it about 50%. Let's see if I can type in there. 50%. And I'm going to tell it to be on um, overlay. So now I'm going to take this stroke and I'm going to drag it on top. So you can put them on top so you can see what that's doing. And I'm also going to change the type of stroke I have. Let's make it more fun. So now you can see that I have taken one stroke. One stroke. One little tiny path. And I have this really cool set going on let's see if I can let's see what else I can change like maybe I'll go ahead and give it a fill give it a fill yeah mm, let's see maybe something weaker yeah maybe a blue yeah I like, eh, I like think I like that well we will go with a tan yeah this tan okay so we'll go with the tan here and um, I'm gonna turn on its opacity a little bit as well And you can see how that's going. And if I want, I can probably transform it as well. Let's see. I'm on a fill. Let's see if I can transform it. Start transform. And we'll do Ocho copies in the corner. Preview 30 and 41. Let's see what happens. Okay. And look, I filled it. Okay. So if you zoom out here, you can see that I've made a pretty complex thing, but just using one object, okay? And you can adjust these in all sorts of ways. Try to do some transformations on this one path. And then what I want you to do is see if you can create some custom things with fills. For example, you can um, have a rounded rectangle, and I can, I don't know, add another fill to it. And I can make it to where that fills on top, and I can maybe make it a gradient. And maybe that gradient for that fill isn't a normal, maybe it's an overlay mode. And look how that adjusts. Oops. Look how that adjusts that rectangle. So here's what I want you to do I want you to spend some time experimenting with creating custom appearances. Okay? And, you know, if you, if you really like them, we can probably see if we can save them using a new graphic style. Let's see what happens. Oh look, there it is. Let's check this one. Graphic style, bam, there it is. So now, watch what happens when I draw another line. I can take a line out here, I can apply that graphic style, and look what I got. Now, obviously it didn't like, quite fit with that one. It kind of looks like a star rather than some type of flower or iris. But, whatever. I want you to see if you can Create some cool graphic styles, making multiple strokes, putting them underneath each other, uh, over each other, transforming some, or changing the opacity in the blend modes, and then see if you can pop them into the new graphic style menu over here. And that's it for this one.